Good evening. Welcome to ORP TV. I'm Craig Stagner coming to you from the JK Auto Repair Studio. JK Auto Repair is, of course, a full service car care provider located in Ozark, Missouri, 2301 Selmore Road. This is the All Parts Auto Salvage Weekend Race Report. All Parts Auto Salvage with two locations in Springfield. 2600 North Benton is the Salvage Yard. 425 East Kearney is the parts store. And they are a U Haul rental location. Let All Parts Auto Salvage help you fix your car. Well, it was an exciting week of racing. We've kind of, uh, it seems like this this weekend was the start of the 2021 race season, it felt like for sure, because we had a full week of racing from Tulsa, Oklahoma, the 35th annual Lucas Oil Chili Bowl. A smaller crowd than what they would have liked to have had because of the COVID restrictions, but nonetheless, racing there. And I know that our friends uh, Chip Abramovitz and Heather Van Cleve were there, as well as their daughter, uh, and son-in-law, a lot of people there. Looked like a lot of fun. Well, to no one's surprise, back-to-back -back years, Kyle Larson takes the win. Kyle Larson, uh, with a solid race, uh, this race started really late. Uh, I don't know about you, but I couldn't stay up anywhere near this late. But the race, I know, went well after midnight. Uh, sorry, my, my wife's yelling at me from the other room. Uh, there's a look at Kyle Larson's car. Uh, he, he won this race uh, going away. Second year in a row, big finish for Kyle Larson. Here's a look at your uh, top five. Kyle Larson, Justin Grant, Tanner Thorson, Cannon McIntosh uh, took the race wins on Monday and Tuesday. We'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, Darren Pittman with a, a fifth place finish. Here's what's really impressive. This here, I don't know if you can see it. He moved up 15 spots in this race. So uh, started 20th, went to uh, fifth place, really solid. Now here's what, uh, through the week, Monday and Tuesday, Cannon McIntosh from Bixby, Bixby, Oklahoma, took the win on both days there. Wednesday from St. Helena, California, Rico Abreu, you may know him. Uh, my buddy Nicholas Bradshaw is probably one of his uh, number one fans. Rico Abreu is a dwarf racer who is extremely popular. He took the win on Wednesday. Thursday, NASCAR racer Christopher Bell took the A win. Friday, Justin Grant, who uh, finished second there to Kyle Larson. But Saturday night, that's the big one. Back-to-back -back wins for Kyle Larson out of Elk Grove, California. Now, on Monday, there were some racers uh, from the Springfield metro area that were there racing. Monday, uh, Corey Schutte from Battlefield, Missouri, uh, went to the A-Main, uh, finished 14th. Thursday, Nix's Kyle Bellum uh, went uh, 18th in the A-Main. Then Friday night in the A-Main, Nixon, of Missouri's Wesley Smith with an 18th place finish. So three really good performances by some of the local racers. Glad to see them make the trip over, qualify, and go to the A main during the week. Uh, you know, this is the kind of thing that can propel you forward and maybe get you a solid ride later on. So congratulations to all of them. Now, also, the AMA Supercross season kicked off last night. This was in Houston, Texas, the season opener. For the third year in a row, Justin Barsha takes the win. Now, that's really unique in a couple different ways. One, Kyle, uh, I'm sorry, Justin Barsha doesn't win just a whole lot, but he took the, the season opener for the third year in a row. That in and of itself is an accomplishment. Even more so, he's the only rider on the 450 gas gas team. Even more surprising than that is this is his first year. So you have Justin Barsha on a new bike. He's the only 450 rider. I wasn't real familiar with Gas Gas. They're a new company. Uh, the bikes kind of look uh, Honda-esque in the color schemes. But Justin Barsha was on fire. He won the uh, first transfer, the first heat, and then went to the main. Led every single lap of it. Uh, here's a, whoop, let's try that again there. Uh, there's a look at uh, Justin Barsha, uh, big fan favorite, just a really cool guy. His nickname had been Bam Bam for so long because of his riding style. He's kind of trying to get away from that, uh, apparently, but 
he was super fast. Congratulations to him. Now, in the 250 class, this year has been set up and thought that it's going to be the race between Jet Lawrence and Nevada, Missouri's Austin Forkner. Well, neither one of them were a huge factor because Christian Craig, who also is on a new bike and is probably far and away the oldest 250 rider, I think he's an old man at 29 years of age, on his new ride with Yamaha, Christian Craig takes the win, leads all 20 laps that they ran in the 250 class. Uh, so congratulations to both of them. You have both riders on new bikes, 28-year-old uh, Barsha and 29-year-old Christian Craig. Uh, good to see that the uh, quote-unquote old guys got it done. Now, also I want to mention there, um, your champion, defending champion, you won't be able to see that real well there, but uh, there we go. Eli Tomac. Eli Tomac. That guy is either the fastest guy in the stadium or just a mess. And yesterday he was a mess. Uh, finished 13th, just didn't ride well at all. Uh, you're defending outdoor champion Zach Osborne with 10th. Uh, it was a really interesting race. It was kind of a wild one there. On your 250 side, Christian Craig with the win. Austin Forkner was second, and Muskogee, Oklahoma veteran and native Colt Nichols is third. I will point out here, those of you who go to Hoosier Arena Cross some, we have some Hoosier Arena Cross uh, riders. 11th place, John Short. 13th place was uh, Kevin Morans, and 14th place, Grant Harlan. Those are riders all that you can see at some of the Hoosier Arena Cross races. The Mid-South Arena Cross was in action Saturday night at Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Those results aren't uh, loaded up yet, but as soon as they are, we'll get those to you. Hoosier Arena Cross was in Lebanon, Missouri. I want to tell you about the pro classes and uh, one of the riders uh, in addition, 450 Pro on Friday night was Travis Sewell out of Wentzville, Indiana with the win. 250 Pro, Michael Hicks out of Fenton. Now, coming back on Saturday night, Michael Hicks, after winning the 250 Pro on Friday, takes the Friday, uh, takes the Saturday 250 and 450. So, three out of four for Michael Hicks. Now, we talked about before, and I, I mean, I'm just, I don't even feel bad about talking so much about them. The Gross Brothers, Eli and Tiago. On Friday night, Eli with the 125 All-Stars, the 85 Super Mini, and 85 7-Eleven wins, so three wins. Uh, comes back on Saturday night with the same thing, 80, 125, 85 Super Mini, and 85 7-Eleven. Little brother Tiago wins the 50cc Open, 65cc Open, 65cc 7-9, and 50cc 7-8. Tiago boys on fire again this past weekend. Polk County RC Raceway in Bolivar, Missouri had off-road racing on Saturday night. Uh, novice class winner there was Paxton Gale. I'm sorry, yeah, Paxton Gage. The stock slash winner was Brandon Clymore. Your truck series winner was Hot Rod. Uh, Two-wheel drive buggy was Clayton Mitchell. And then Hot Rod comes back and wins the four-wheel drive buggy. I know that uh, Dave Farrell and his wife, Brittany, were in, uh, I think, Kansas City area racing. So some of these guys were probably real excited to see uh, them off somewhere else. And uh, Super Dave out of the building. Uh, you got some other winners there from Polk County Raceway. Centerville was originally scheduled to have the race. This has been a race that's been going on. Uh, scheduled all season long, was finally set to happen yesterday. Well, they pushed it back to today. I don't have the results on that, but I do know that that is the first drag race of the season, 2021 season, Centerville Dragway. We'll get those results to you. This wasn't a test of tune. This was a bracket race. Uh, good weather out, a lot better today than it was uh, last weekend, that's for sure. want to remind you that the Missouri Motocross Hall of Fame event is coming up. On February 27th, this event has been moved to the Affinity Riverside Estates. This is located in South Springfield, North Nixa, right kind of um, right at the border. Those tickets are going to be on sale at the door as well as available for pre-sale. So if you want to go ahead and do a pre-sale, uh, if you want to make that purchase, the Two links that you have to it are ORPTV Media at Gmail, that's on PayPal, or on Venmo, it's at Craig underscore Stagner. We'll post those up for you. They're available on the Missouri Motocross Hall of Fame page. Uh, I do want to remind you that our inductees this year, 
uh, Jody Hill, Joe Burt, Chad Brixey, Corey Bradley, Ray Schnick, Don and Melba Herndon, and Brian Strain. This is going to be absolutely a lot of fun. I can't wait to see them all. Uh, in addition to uh, seeing them, there's also going to be the retro shirts. I know that we already have the Hall of Fame shirts that's going to have that logo on it available for sale. There's the Possum Hollow shirts. Jim, two different Jim Moon Yamaha shirts, uh, and I got a couple more surprises that I think are going to be available. So you want to make sure you bring some uh, bring some money. We'll be able to take uh, PayPal and that kind of thing also there. So uh, if you don't bring cash, don't worry. But there is also going to be lunch served from noon to two. It'll be the uh, pulled pork sandwich with potato chips. Uh, and an available drink. Uh, I think it's $5 for the sandwich and chips, and I've had it there, and it is some of the best pulled pork you'll ever eat. So you want to come at noon, get yourself something to eat, visit with people for a while before the 2 o'clock event. I uh, also believe we're going to have hero cards available uh, for these Hall of Famers to autograph for you, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, we do our show live on Wednesday, so I'm going to tell you that there are events on Tuesday um, because there has been for a little bit, and with the new season coming up with AMA Supercross, Polk County Raceway is open on Tuesday for the off-road racing. Uh, the door is open at 4 o'clock. Racing starts at 6.30. This is Bolivar, Missouri. And then the AMA Supercross, let's get that zoomed in a little bit better. The way they're going to do this again this year is it's going to be the Saturday-Tuesday format. So race number two also from Houston, Texas, is going to be on Tuesday evening. This is going to be, it's going to be starting at 7.30 our time. It's going to be on tape delay at 9.30 on NBC Sports Network. And I'm going to give you the real quick how this works. If you download the Peacock app, that's the NBC pay-per-view platform. It's $5 a month. It's not that bad. You will get the full day of racing, all of the uh, practice, all the uh, heat races leading up to it before the televised portion of it. So you can see it all in real time for $5 a month. If you do $10, you get it commercial free. But of course, there's all kinds of stuff that goes with it also. So, uh, But if you don't want to do the 5 or $10 a, a month, you can uh, wait till 9.30 and watch it on NBC Sports Network. So AMA Supercross with uh, racing back in action on Tuesday night. want to remind you also that there are still, uh, still a little bit of time left if you want to get in and be a sponsor of the Missouri Motocross Hall of Fame event. Uh, the deadline for that is going to be February 1st is when we're going to close that to give us time to get the posters made and get all the advertising done. Uh, ahead of that event, there are 50, $100, and $150 title uh, sponsor options available. So if you're looking to do a little bit of sponsorship with a Motocross Hall of Fame, uh, this is a great opportunity. $10 a ticket if you're going to come to the event. Kids 12 and under free. Again, $5 lunch. Uh, 15 bucks a person. Man, you're not going to have much more fun than that and get to meet some Hall of Famers like Jody Hill, Joe Burke, Corey Bradley, Chad Brixey, Brian Strain, Ray Schnick, and Don and Melba Herndon. So I want to thank you for joining us here on this uh, Sunday night from the JK Auto Repair Studio and with this All Parts Auto Salvage uh, weekend report. We'll be back here Wednesday with the results from the AMA Supercross Tuesday night. Uh, we'll see you then. Until then, I'm Stag.